be a little bit selfish and uh, say I would recommend them come to the Alvin E conference that we do. They have a great group of folks who have been coming for years and years um, from a wide variety of fields. We not only have scholars, but we also have designers that come. Um, this is the American Culture Association, Popular Culture Association the, conference. Yeah, SW. PCA. PACA, Southwest Popular and American Culture Association, that's good. Um, and uh, it's uh, a very collegial and uh, supportive group of folks, very welcoming. Um, we have a range of people from you know, beginning graduate students to deans uh, and everyone in between. Um, and uh, folks are not only collaborative and convivial, but um, they really are committed. So everybody goes to every session and really works hard to, um, to sort of collectively to, to, to have a dialogue. And then um, it's a fantastically productive, uh, productive group. Um, all kinds of um, scholarship just emerges from one year to the next. Um, so that's, that's the Southwest Popular American Culture Association. I'd also put in a word for um, the Game Studies Special Interest Group at the Society for Cinema and Media Studies. It's a great group. It's another area where you can you know, rub shoulders with the with folks that you that, that are are sort of the elder states men and women of the field. Like uh, uh, Mark Wolf is sort of the, the main organizer there. Um, but you can also um, see graduate students presenting their papers for the first time. So it's a nice mix, like the Southwest Popular American Culture Association, and everybody's so supportive and interested as well. Um, yeah, kind of along those lines, but more on the professional side, I'd recommend uh, if you can find one near you, a chapter, a student chapter, say, of the International Game Developers Association, the IGBA. Uh, that's a great uh, connection to make because uh, Judd mentioned the study, teach, build kind of the philosophy that we have at LGI. Uh, the IGBA is a place where you can definitely get the build part, uh, and you'll have people in that chapter. Uh, you'll, have, you'll have guests, special guests who are professional developers, animators, artists, engineers, um, lawyers who all come and will talk to you about being in the industry. Um, but they'll also have student designers and faculty who are uh, in those areas too. So you'll really get a sense of what it means to build a game, which is actually a very different thing than uh, from studying a game. These are two very different experiences of the very same thing. Um, so. I'd highly recommend that. And the other thing is, I think we'd probably agree on this, is you should play games. Um, one of the things that we see uh, when we, uh, when we uh, are editors of journals and we're reading a lot of uh, manuscripts that have come in, when we're reviewing grant applications, when we're hiring interns, when we're at conferences, is that uh, there's a very discernible uh, sort of uh, level uh, or set of levels of people who are here, including faculty, um, uh, and the ones who are almost or who are always at the top, uh, the top tier, the, the best performers, the most interesting research, um, the best teachers are the ones who uh, come in and they say, "I play games. I don't apologize. I play a lot of games," um, and I think uh, that's uh, probably the best and maybe even the easiest way uh, uh, to begin career or at least a, a period of your professional life as a game scholar is actually to play a lot of games. Get a sense of the diversity. Uh, maybe you've always played at RPGs. Uh, great, you're good at RPGs. Go play some resource management games. Uh, play some business games, serious games, uh, platformers. Shooter. Yeah. Um, you know, build up your, your experience. That's what, we, that's what we do. That's how we learn about what is out there.